Hello, this is Miss Calaurano. I am going to show you on this mini video how to fold a, for a mini booklet as an option to visualize your mini zinc um, visual diary that you're going to be doing for my R1 and commercial art students. Uh, so the first thing is uh, you just need a regular piece of paper which is eight and a half by 11 hold it horizontally, and you're gonna fold it hot dog style. Uh, once you have your hot dog style, you're gonna turn the other way, and you're gonna hold, fold it hamburger style, which is, you know, white wise instead of lengthwise. Once that is done, you're gonna go back and go to the right side and bring that edge to the middle. Same thing on the other side and bring that edge to the middle. And you're gonna have something that looks like this. So, for this last part, you're going to fold the middle and create sort of like a flat, up, down, flat type of, you can, you can visualize that. And you're going to cut from this section to this section, just that little gap. So you're gonna be cutting this little He's right here. Okay. And then you can see once that's cut, it sort of like automatically it starts falling in place. Okay. And this is just a folding for you to visualize that you have a front, inside page, all this. If you, you can start putting like a title here, what you wanna do, like a mini little sketch, okay? Just a mini little sketch to get your idea because you're going to come up with a theme and sometimes it's hard to visualize how many pages. This will give you eight pages. It is very small, but it gives you the beginning idea of how you wanna get your little zine booklet. So that will be one option the other option will be that out of these pieces of paper, uh, which actually these are bag, uh, um, paper bags that I got from the store. Some of them might have something on it. So you choose the area that you can use. So on this one, I got uh, from uh, polyester bag and I took most of the pieces out of this one. So you, uh, you're going to cut pieces, rectangular pieces. By the way, this was from an envelope, rectangular pieces, about the same size and then put it together, you know, as many as you need. This probably will give you about um, eight eight sides, um, and I need to kind of line them up a little bit better. So, like so. All right. uh, I think it's okay if one of the pages is a little bit longer, it's not a big deal. But if you want it, trim it a little bit and make sure the pages the bigger page is in the outside and the smallest can be inside as well. So for now this, if you just fold it evenly, this will give you a booklet. And like so, okay? And then you can have pages I'm not going to staple it yet because I'm most likely going to use cardboard or something on the, la the last cover. 
but this will give you enough pages that you can use your booklet and it's bigger okay so this will give you a different option um the other one is i also cut a bigger paper and I'm experimenting on this one and see how it's gonna come out like the mini one. Uh, so fold it again. I wanna see how big it is. Maybe I need to make a bigger paper. Remember how those style? Uh, turn it around. Hamburger style. And this one already has some folds of the turn it around and then bring it back towards your middle one more time bring it back towards the middle so this one comes out i'm not sure all right so this middle part raise it up no, actually, the other one. Raise this one up. And then here's your, remember, like you had your little mountain. And then you want to clip it right in the middle. but it's okay all right so this one gives you more pages to work with if you want to cut here you get more other pages in between so that's a set to you but that already gives you enough size that you can work on this as a little booklet okay so these are three options with materials that you probably have at home that you didn't go to the store and buy it you have to be creative and resourceful and flexible and do your best do your best and allow to do the rest